Asian Nostalgia. And I would like to talk to you guys about beauty pageants and how they're kind of exploited on women. And I could, has anyone ever heard of the song Pretty Hurts by Beyonce? Okay, everybody. So it's, do you actually listen to the message though that she's sending out? Yeah, like, so kind of. Okay, so what I'm gonna be talking about are how beauty pageants are con they're contest competitions where women compete against each other and it's basically just based upon their looks and certain talents I guess that Attention they please. have Tony or Washington that they can the present Tony Washington for them whatever and I feel like that this is something I'm cred like I have a credibility because I kind of did some a little bit of research but it's like I'm a female in an American society, so I understand the pressures and the problems that they're facing. Um, but it's when women enter these pageants, they are told that they have to behave a certain way and they're judged and given scores based upon the things that they do and what they look like. But for me, I think that the problem is that women, they're not really, when they sign up for these competitions, they're not really aware of everything that they're signing on to, like all of the side effects and things that come with it. And I think that it's something that they should know about before agreeing to do this, because it does have dangerous effects on them. <coughs> and many women who do end up joining these pageants, they end up having, they come out with severe mental and physical health issues. And I feel like the audience should care about this because think about it. What if that was like your kid that was going through these type of mental problems or your mom went through this or something, some a female relative of yours. But 2.5 million girls compete in beauty pageants in the United States, and 6% of those females who um, are in them, they suffer from depression. 91% of the women are unhappy with their body images and their diet, and then 42% of those girls that are in like, for child beauty pageants that are in the first through third grade, they want to be thinner. And that's kind of, it's teaching our girls from a young age that it's like you should be more concerned about your looks and stuff like that when you should just, they should be happy with what they look like now, like their only children. Um, but I feel like, I think in order to not necessarily stop it, but a way that we can come, overcome it is, you can either sign a petition to, um, an online petition to regulate it and have stricter rules, especially in children beauty pageants, or I just don't think that people should subject their children to these competitions, especially when they're so young, because when you're young and you're a kid, you should be thinking about Spider-Man or <laughs> Batman or My Little Ponies or something else. Like you shouldn't be worried about stuff like that, especially some kids even, let me show you, is this? Okay, so when you see beauty pageants, you think of like, Oh, they're so pretty, look at this. But some things that actually happen, this mom gave her eight-year-old kid Botox, like she's eight years old, and that's a poison that you're putting into your kid's body. And they can have fake teeth, they have fake eyelashes, hair extensions, and they have spray tans. That's, chemi that's chemicals on top of chemicals for a child. And that's just like, if you're an adult, then you can understand these types of things, you know what you're putting your body through. You have enough education, but when you're a child, you can't really tell your parents no. Like you don't know what's going on, anyways. You just want to be pretty. <sighs> but yeah, the imperfection is the disease of the nation. That's what Beyonce said in her song "Pretty Hurts." Also, um, and to say that women know what they're signing up for probably is not always true, especially if they're being trained this from such a young age. It's literally all that they know. So it's like that's all they grew up on is you know, subjecting themselves to 
the American beauty standard and society's beauty standard. So they really don't know what they're getting themselves into. Um, but the things like these people do not, they don't see what happens backstage when contestants are literally fighting and bashing each other because this is all that they know. And this is like their, this is their number one goal is to be Miss America or Miss Universe. And then in these pageants also, you see women, they sexualize themselves. Like they wear like bikinis that's revealing and they have like super duper high heels. And that's just, it's kind of, I think it's kind of harmful to your inner self and your own mental health because to be true beauty is in the eyes of the whole like somebody can't tell you that you're not pretty like you might have a boyfriend he thinks you're beautiful so yeah that's all that matters <laughs> and then, <laughs> Thank you. young expect when young children they enter into these then you're already teaching them to value their looks above anything else when really it should be they should be valuing their education above anything else because just being pretty that's not it's not i'm not gonna say it's not gonna get you far in the world but you can't just live, go through life just based on your looks and at that young of age they should be learning like more or less like right from wrong like reading the three little pigs don't build a house out of sticks build it out of bricks <laughs> but um i urge people all of you to look more into this um, if you don't agree with it then I think that you should maybe sign an online petition at least for stricter regulation especially in the children um, because you don't want to put their safety at risk and don't enter your children in these but these competitions are not only bad for the young women of society but they're also misogynistic if you really think so, 